grab your neck warmer. Alrighty, here we are. Current time check, 2.23 in the afternoon. And the storm kind of rolled through last night and it's really gonna roll through tonight into tomorrow. Um, kind of in the metro, the south metro, we didn't get hit with the snow. We got a lot of rain. So that's really good for our thin ice around our area. But I guess up north, they got hit pretty hard. I just, talking to B-Rock, he's right around kind of that Brainerd Motley area. Sounds like they got, I don't know, like a foot and then around Bemidji and, and kind of northern Minnesota it sounds like they hit got hit pretty hard which is a bummer but our forecast kind of looks comparable in the near future it looks like I don't know the temperatures are going to drop here and a lot of this rain is going to turn to snow kind of the next 24 hours so I'm just I'm doing a little evening mission tonight just a quick two-hour fish and we'll see what we can do so we're like 20-30 minutes away from the lake and I'll talk to you there. Slippery, slippery, slippery. I'm gonna miss this. Pulling a sled on a lake with no snow. I'm gonna miss this. Tip up is set and today is just gonna be relaxed, just fun and games. Um, I'm not keeping today, I'm not looking to harvest and I'm just trying the shallow flat. I've got like two hours to fish. This lake historically has been kind of a day bite or a last light bite. So I'm not trying to fish into the night. And like I said, we're gonna get some wicked weather. Yeah, probably even while I'm out here. So I'm just gonna whole hop around, see what happens. Keep it very chill. So yeah, grab some popcorn sit back relax and let's just let's just jig on the bait menu today extremely simple a pinhead pro and a pinhead pro one's the smallest the other one's the second smallest i'll link their exact sizes down below but yeah wonder bread i'm gonna keep it really simple one thing i love about this is i can catch basically everything with it bluegills perch bass pike walleye and of course crappie Marking. Here you go, fish on. Hey, there we go. First fish of the day, nice bluegill on the pinhead. Here we go. All right, sorry buddy. Little sign of life. All right, skunks out of the boat. I like it. Turn the GoPro off and turn it back on one second decent perch get him right back oh, oh I just missed one I just missed one shoot came in right on me just missed him oh there he's back fish on perch the perch and the gills could be biting around right now and then hopefully when the Sun hits the trees the crop I come to play Okay, first crappie of the evening. Not a giant, but he ate it deep. Holy smokes, did he eat it deep. <laughs> I like to see that. Okay, okay. It's not quite prime time yet, but 
I'd like to see that. We are quickly approaching sunset. I just kind of hopped these three zones. I caught bluegills, perch, and one crappie. And this is the hole I caught the one crappie out of. Underneath me right here, this is like a bunch of white ice. I don't know if some snow melted, but could it be a correlation why maybe I was getting some crappie marks and caught one here? Maybe. So I got a couple holes drilled kind of on this white ice, and I'm just gonna kind of chill and hole hop these as, you know, evening turns into dark. Bluegill. Bluegills. Where are the crappies? Oh, come on. Here we go. Better fish. Oh. Little walleye. Little walleye. Hey, little buddy. <laughs> Where's your crappie friend? Cute little walleye. See you, buddy. Move this up. Cute little walleye. Oh, there's another mark right down there. It looks nice. Nice perch. Nice perch. See you, buddy. Oh, that one kind of felt like a walleye bite. Oh, it's just a big perch. Nice big perch for the Metro. Marks are flying around. We're definitely getting a lot of activity right now. <laughs> no crappies, but that's okay. Nice perch. Big perch. Beauty perch. I want some crappies. Here we go. Oh. Alright. First decent crop. Where's your mother? All right, right now I'll give you a little spot breakdown of where I'm fishing. Uh, like I said before, I'm fishing kind of a shallow flat, but to be honest, this lake kind of sets up like a shallow flat. So I decided to kind of drill out three zones. Each one of the zones were probably, I don't know, 30, 40 yards apart. And I drilled, I don't know, maybe 20 holes in each zone and slowly hopped those holes. Uh, fishing flats can be very rewarding, but it can be heartbreakers too. Especially early ice, I've found really good shallow flats with mud and weeds hold a lot of fish and a lot of different species. So if you have a lake where you think there's potential and it does have some shallow flats, don't be afraid to drill a few zones, sit down and, and fish it out. Here we are. It's pitch black out. The rain's starting to move in and uh, I think I'm heading out. It was a beautiful two hours of fishing. It was like 37 degrees. I know it's rainy and windy, but it was warm. When you're hopping holes and you got the right gear on, um, it's, it's beautiful to be out. So I'm loving it. I'm just sick for it. Any minute I get that I can get out on the ice, I'm going. And uh, even if it's just two hours in the evening. So you guys get time after work just to pop out to a lake or two, even for two hours, sometimes it could be worth it. So. Yeah, gills, crappies, perch, uh, no giants, but a lot of fun. So thank you guys so much for watching this video all the way to the end. I truly appreciate it. I guess there's nothing left to be said, but stay tuned. And as always, Move ahead. Oh my pretty babe, something ain't right. Got to find a way to move ahead.